Hello po. So let us start my report with an opening prayer. Panginoon po namin Diyos sa dakila at mga pangyarihan sa lahat, muli ka namin sinasamba ng nakakailangan po Ama sa Espiritu at Itotohanan. Ama namin banal, bago kami magsimula sa aming pag-aaral, Tumihiling po kami, Panginoon, na kayo muli ang magpatawad sa aming mga kasalanan. Kayo muli ang maglinis sa aming puso at isipan upang sa gayon ay maging karapat dapat kami sa pagtawag sa inyong banal na pangalan. Maraming banal kami ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo sa oras na ito na inyong pinagkaloob sa amin na muli ay nagkaroon kami ng pagkakataon na matuto upang magkaroon, Panginoon, ng iba't ibang karunungan nama na magagamit po namin sa mga trabaho na ibinigay niyo sa amin bilang mga guro. Ang naming banal, hinihiling namin na kayo ang magbigay ng kapayapaan sa aming puso at isipan upang sa gayon ay lubos naming maunawaan ang lahat ng aming mapag-aaralan. Kayo Panginoon ang manguna sa aming pag-aaralan at sa aming klase. Ngayon po Panginoong oras na ito, ito ama ang aming panalangin kalakip ng pagpapala Sa bawat sa amin, hinihiling po namin ang lahat ng bagay na ito sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Good day po sa atin pong professor at good day din po sa atin pong lahat sa mga teachers po na kagaya ko. We all know that teachers are completely essential part of our society but teaching can be difficult and stressful job at times. One thing that may help us deal with some of these challenges is learning the different uh, teaching or effective teaching methods available. So we don't need to pick one method and stick on it. Uh, we may find that certain uh, methods and styles are perfect for different uh, learners and learning environment. Okay, so... I am Sir Wally Gailalapig, a MAPI teacher from Cantinho National High School. Our lesson for today is about effective teaching methods. And at the end of this uh, discussion, we are expected to identify the different types of effective teaching methods and uh, describe how each teaching method contribute to the learning process of students. Okay, so first, what is teaching method? Teaching methods are ways to instruct students in a classroom, helping them to understand and remember their lesson. This is also our opportunities to make learning more engaging, interesting, and fun for students. So what are the different types of effective teaching methods? First, we have online learning and experiential learning method. Online learning is uh, the process of teaching others to with the use of internet. So if we want to teach uh, online, kung gusto po natin maging online teacher, ay we need to be comfortable with technology and internet because uh, all of our communication sa ating mga isudyante will be done online. And we need to create uh, Digital references para po sa ating po mga students such as worksheet presentations, uh, video, and audio lectures. Okay? Then next, we have experiential learning. Experiential learning is uh, uh, the idea that learning is the product of experience. So this method encourages creativity, helps students learn from mistakes, foster reflective thinking, and prepares students for future uh, experience uh, experiences so sabi nga po uh, experience is the best teacher so we can learn from uh, our personal experience and we can learn as well in experiences of others okay. based on david kolb's 1984 theory of learning cycle we have four cycle of experiential learning first cycle is concrete experience this is when the learner has new experience such as dancing a Philippine folk dance for a first time or riding a bicycle for a first time. In second cycle, reflective observation, after concrete experience, the learner must reflect on their execution and watch others perform that action. In the third cycle, abstract conceptualization, 
The next step involves the learner making sense of their reflection and planning for going forward. They might come up with next step and seek insight from experts. And the final stage, active, uh, active experimentation. During the final stage, the learner will consider their reflection and the previous lesson and then retry the original experience to see if any progress has been made. This will lead to a new concrete experience and so the cycle restarts. And then we have differentiated learning and blended learning method. Differentiated learning is a teaching method that tailors instructions to students depending on their individual needs and differences. Better way to approach uh, differenti uh, differentiation is to teach into a variety of ways. For example, as a teacher, we can provide uh, pictures and video analysis for uh, visual learners and um, singing and listening activity for, for music is smart, uh, dancing for kinesthetic uh, students, and even writing journals for linguistic students. Okay, so this method, uh, this method gives all of our student opportunity to get involved and understand our lesson content. Number four, blended learning. Blended learning is a combination of traditional method and technology-based method. This method uses enough technology to keep a student focused and interested. It also provides opportunities for the student to talk in person to their teacher and fellow classmate. Some best examples of blended learning are the following. Station rotation, where students rotate around different stations during the lessons. With this being a mixture of uh, online and hands-on activities. Flex learning, where students are in class with teachers, but they use online learning methods. Teachers are there for support and instruction whenever needed. Third is virtual reality, where students are in physical classroom, but are able to use virtual reality to immerse themselves in an environment. Example of this is historical landmark for Araling Panglipunan, art gallery for MAPE, or natural wonder, with the aim of capturing their attention and furthering their learning. And last is uh, enrich virtual learning where activities and coursework are completed online using digital technologies but students can arrange face-to-face -face sessions when required number five game-based learning game-based learning or gamification is a strategy that implements game-like elements into non-gaming activities to enhance motivation since children are very interested in games from video games and mobile games and applications. So incorporating some ideas from game into education can actually have positive effect in the moods of our student, making them more motivated and determined to succeed. Here are some ways you can incorporate game-based learning into your lesson such as point system, level and progress bars, challenges and competition, as well as providing learning budgets, and unique rewards to your students. Number six is student-centered learning. Student-centered learning where students are encouraged to take an active role in the classroom rather than taking part in more passive activities like listening to a lectures or writing an essay. Some great example of this kind of approach are debates, role play, investigation and experiment, and even group activity. Those are the six effective teaching methods based on www.futurelearn.com. Actually, we have more teaching method pa, kaya lang hindi na po natin sila kayang itake lahat. Okay? But then, tinan po natin yung mga na-isite ko pang uh, teaching method, i-enumerate na lang po natin. 
for another effective teaching me uh, teaching method according to simplypsychology.org we have lecture based learning group learning where collaborations can develop among our students kinesthetic learning individual learning and inquiry based learning and for further understanding about my report let us watch a movie clip from Indian movie, Every Child is a Special. And let us observe how different teaching method helps to make learning process more productive and successful. Very good. Abhi is my punch. Come on, Jay. Very good. Abhi, Gara uh, come. Said Henny Penny. They set off to a nose between each pair of eyes. Noses, noses, every size. Koyal head, Chineo, Kirani. Kabi Sumi head, Uski Nari. Yes! Simbad was dazzled by multicolored lights were made of cake and chocolate. already know that the students have many differences so as a teacher we are not only need to be familiar in different teaching method but we need also to move out in our comfort zone and try to use those methods to provide the needs of our learners always remember that the effectiveness of a teaching method lies on the planning and execution of the teacher teacher plays a very vital role as William Arthur Ward say, the moderate teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, the great teacher inspires. So let us be an inspiration to our student. Thank you for watching. Please
click like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to watch AU Queen Maed educational video like this, please click the notification bell. Once again, my name is Sir Wally Gailalapig, your reporter for today. Thank you and God bless.